Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I'm out here this morning. It's Saturday. Man, it is January 1st. Happy New Year. Hey, hey I forgot about that. But anyhow, I'm out here. <clears throat> Man, it's like 71 degrees. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. 71 degrees, I think, right now. But anyhow, I'm heading out here into the what we're calling the food forest. Um, hey, let me just quickly show you. I think okay, so if you remember a while back, uh, we built this uh, arch trellis with the uh, raised beds for the grape arbors for the grapes we put some strawberries down in the bottom i just put some grass mulch in there you can see um the other day but yeah this is our strawberry and grape uh arbor i guess you would call it um but yeah that's basically what we're calling the entrance into our food forest and so anyhow let me let me back back up just to kind of show you over here we got some peaches and plums over here Let's see i think we got like three or four peaches and a couple plums over here well there's one two three four five so it's three and two three peaches and two plums i think anyhow so we got some um straight ahead we got a pear right there and then a pear back behind there and then blueberries back behind them you can see and then just over here zach was here for the christmas week and he helped me well cut up all a bunch of those trees that have been laying around here that i cut down but he helped me make this uh raised bed so we're get not decided for sure what we're putting in it but it's a little pre pretty shady because if you look and you see all these big giant i mean it don't look shady now but man when they get full of leaves they really block the sun from this area so but anyhow um, okay, so let's continue over here. We've got pear tree. That's a sugar pear tree there. I just got that one this past year. A um, couple pear trees here and over there. Uh, man, I can't remember if this is a apple or a pear tree here. Let me, let me see here. Uh-oh. My tag came off. That's not good. Well, I've got them documented. I'm pretty sure that's an apple tree there. Another apple tree there. Oh, well, this one's got tag on it. Man, you know what? These uh, these shiny plastic things that I use to write on, they worked out really nice, except <laughs> the marker kind of fades off of them. What works the best is these metal, uh, metal things, if you can keep them on there. So I might have to get some better quality ones because a couple of them have fallen off. Anyhow, that's golden and delicious there. And then over here we got a, I'm going to move this. I put this here, and then I thought, well, you know what? I want an apple tree here. So I put the apple tree here with the intentions of moving this crepe myrtle. I grew that crepe myrtle from cutting. Uh, so that's doing really good, actually. And up here, I've got a row just straight across of, Rosa Sharon, sorry, I <laughs> couldn't remember. Those Rosa Sharons have been in our family. Well, not these particular ones, but seedling. These are seedlings off of. In fact, there's seed pods right there. I could, uh, I could take and probably should. And you know that one's already emptied out. Man, I don't know. Did I wait too late? I might have waited too late. But anyhow, um, my funny story about these um, Rosa Sharons, my dad got them well got one of them from his parents his mom and dad's house i mean years and years ago and he planted them along the driveway at at, at the old home place you know <laughs> and uh they um they grew real good really good i mean them things grow but anyhow um they would drop seeds and and then they would grow more plants and they would, so from the one plant that he got seedling he got from his mom and dad there was been little probably thousands of seedlings and i've taken every place that we've lived over the years i've taken them and planted them in the in the the grounds wherever we've lived so it's kind of been a cool thing so i had these in michigan in our at our photo studio just outside there 
and uh, uh, that I had grabbed from mom and dad's old place. And anyhow, so I grabbed a couple. They were tiny, you know, easier to transport than they are now. But they, anyhow, so that's a quick story. But oh, I was going to tell you that to tell you that out of that one tree that dad got from his mom and dad must have been a hybrid and it had reverted back to four different types of um flower it has a, like a white flower there's one with a pink flower um and just there's four different types and the, the leaves look different on them it's really kind of cool um and I, once these bloom next year remind me to show you i don't even know for sure what color these ones are i only have four of them and I need to get more. I need to go up and visit my sister <laughs> at the old home place there and, and get some more of them. And then, but anyhow. So anyhow, continuing the tour, right here is another um, apple tree. And once again, those shiny things did not work. Zip tie worked good. That's a, I have to remember that the zip tie was a good idea. And over here we got a new this is a new one this year granny smith deb's happy about that we got that then we had one that died over here in this area and i was working at a place and guy was uh, gonna dig up and throw away an apple tree he just bought the place and i'm like so i ended up digging it up for him and i hauled it off for him <laughs> and planted it here so anyhow i don't even know what kind it is so that's going to be a surprise for us see what that is but it's a nice tree so hopefully it's something good even if it's a crab apple that's good for pollinating so then here okay we got a label here on this one let me see what we got honey crisp yeah so that's a small little tree but anyhow here's some of the wood left over from those these two trees that we uh, cut down a while back and got most of the wood zach got most of the wood all cut up and split up and burned up actually <laughs> and uh, but this is what's left this here is a pile of a lot of it's kind of rotted and stuff it's been laying there for quite a while and it's going to go in the uh, raised bed for hugel culture to uh, fill up the space and provide something to decompose and make good uh, soil for the future. That way the plants for years to come will have good quality um, stuff. Anyhow, that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about taking fig cuttings, which here is the only fig tree that I have planted in the ground. I've got like, I don't know, 50 or 60 of them over there by the greenhouse but this is the only one right now that i have in the ground and um so i'm going to go ahead and just take i'm wanting it to um I, I don't want this straight straight up one to grow up like that i want it to kind of branch off see how they're branching off here and here um i want them to branch off and i'll probably take one of those because i only want one going that way this one here i think i'll leave that because i i think that's going to be a good good thing there so i'm going to take well let me just go ahead and take it i want this to now you can when hold on let me put my glasses on so i can see too you can see where they see that there that's where it's going to bud out this direction over here this one will bud out this direction so you can kind of tell this one's going to bud that direction. Let me see if we can get it to focus. So, and then this one over here will bud that direction. So, um, I want to, you can choose which direction your tree is going to go. And I think I'm going to leave, allow this one to go because that's going to come this way. So that's what I believe I want from that one. I could do that or I could go that way, but I think I'm going to go this way. So what I will do then is i'll just take a um i'm just gonna cut that right there and now we're good water will run off of that and that'll be fine there and then so i've got got that to be able to use for cuttings then this here these two they're really close together 
have to make a decision which one do I want I think I'm gonna take leave this one although you know what I think I'm gonna actually take that one I kind of think maybe I I don't know almost want to Maybe if I let that go out this way. Uh, so that's the, way, that's the way I prune that because of the way I want it to grow. And I almost should take that one there that's growing into the middle of the plant. But it's not crowded enough this year to where it's going to cause any problems. So I'm going to leave it there so it can fruit this year and then probably see what it does and trim it next year. But anyhow, I ended up with these cuttings let's go back over by the greenhouse real quick and so so you can get to kind of see what our food forest is you know looking like now um, still pretty bare except I did get the trees in which is the tree the trees are the uh, kind of the anchor point or the the structure of it so maybe one of these days devil let me take some more trees down <laughs> Okay, so I'm back over here by the greenhouse. I brought those, laid them on the table, and I'm gonna go ahead and take some cuttings off of my figs over here, but just the brown turkeys, because <clears throat> I don't know if you remember when I dug up my figs out of the propagation frame this past time, um, I had the rows, you know, one kind here, one kind there, and then like half a row here, and then I had to label it. Well, once they grew and bushed out, man, that really made it difficult to uh kind of decipher and i mean i was having to be really careful to make sure i was getting the right variety you know with the tag so this time what i'm doing i'm putting one row of brown turkey then i'm going to put like you know well what else do i got over there i don't know i got several things already cut and ready to stick um but i'm just going to do the brown turkey in one row and then put some other stuff and then some more figs that'll make it so much easier to keep my varieties uh, separate. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just brown turkeys here real quick. All right, I don't have a lot here with the brown turkeys. I've got this one here. Yep. Um, man, it's looking really good. But I really want it to branch out. So I kind of feel like I just need to take the whole thing down. So that will cause that to branch out really good. So I got a couple good cuttings there. This is brown turkey. Same with this one. I mean, it's a small, small one, but uh, I think I'll leave that node. So I'll come up here, take that one, and make sure that's, yep, that's brown turkey. Uh, take. There. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna take that too. And that's a Celeste, Celeste. Uh, that that's a brown turkey, there's nothing there though. But see this one here, that's dead. I'm gonna trim that side back. That's just bad. And Celeste. So that's all we got. A little handful. A little handful of cuttings, so that's fine. Let me let's take them over to the table real quick and get them cut up. The first fig cuttings of the year. So let's just take a look here what I'm doing. Now, if you've watched my channel, you know how I do basically all of my cuttings. And um which is that I, you know what, let me show you real, I'm just gonna show you closer. So what I do is I take, and for the bottom part, I'm gonna take this top one first. I go close to that node, and that's the part that will go in the ground. Now, you set that aside, and then you see from here down to the next part, that's just my handle, I'm gonna leave that as well and then i'm going to take the next one down below 
below that node set that one aside and then let's see here I'm gonna decide I want to get two out of this one so I think what I'll do because I'm looking at this down here I don't know if that it would probably be okay underneath the ground so maybe I'll just go right up to this node here a lot of people a lot of people will scrape you know that cambium layer down there anyhow so that all that would, would be fine so okay so I got that one and then I'm gonna go right here for that one so there's one and then there's one now like I was saying a lot of people will take and scrape down to the cambium layer in fact a lot of people cut it off like like actually cut it off like Mike and Kate I see him doing that but I like to just scrape it a little bit um, that works out really good so I got four out of that one so let's just go here <clears throat> and I'm gonna just obviously that's just one cutting so I'm gonna take trim that at a 47 degree angle bring that up cut that at a 47 degree angle this one here that's already cut good and bring that one up to 47 degree angle nice little cutting I mean there's these are pretty thin um, that one's already good we'll cut bring that one up just a little bit so now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine we got ten um, all right so then we'll start at the bottom here we'll cut that 47 degree angle bring it up to hmm right there bring that at a 47 degree angle another one here now you can see i'm close to the note on the bottom and along as far away as i can get on the top that gives me plenty of handle plus if you're new to the channel it it also tells you like oh oh no i dropped them all messed up and now now how do i tell which one's the top right well very clear that one's at the bottom of the node well that one's got the bud on the top so that's really easy but yes yeah, so it just makes it so easy to be able to tell what's the top what's the bottom i can just in a, within a second tell tell what's the top and the bottom and that way you don't stick them upside down see now that one flipped over but uh yeah it just makes it easy and it's just my way you don't have to do it that way but pick a way and do it okay so that's that's gonna be a pretty cool looking plant up here kind of wanna i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take and i just don't know i think i'm gonna let that be a really good cutting and take that extra i'm gonna take that extra node here sacrificing this one down here as a lesser quality cutting but that's gonna be the really good cutting and you see i don't know if you see the uh uh that latex stuff dripping it's kind of dripping off of there still got still got the latex in there so yeah and then then this one here i'll just take just up a little bit more cut that so so that's it that's all the brown turkey i got <clears throat> which is fine what do we end up with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14. Well, I feel that latex as sticky. Is that late? You see that there? It's also it's sticky. Anyhow, I'll wipe it on my pants. <laughs> Some people's, uh, I guess it burns their skin. So be careful if your skin is sensitive uh, about that latex uh, drippage that it um, doesn't burn your skin. If it does, then you want to be more careful. I, I haven't noticed it, but I haven't got a lot on me, so I really don't know. So I'll. I'll not be careful until i really know and then once i know then i'll know if i need to be more careful so right now i'm good with it so let's move on over to the propagation frame and we'll stick these cuttings and then i've got several other cuttings to to uh, stick as well oh you know what let me do this while we're right here i got the um the hormone and three rooting hormone i already brought it out so i'm just gonna stick you see that latex in there that's going to cause 
See how that sticks really good? Just gonna stick those all, kind of knock it, knock the excess off. Doing really good. Now, figs is one thing that I do use rooting on hormone on. Um, because fig cuttings, at least for me at this point, is are harder to come by. You you see, if you've seen me take cuttings like of my azaleas, I could get a thousand cuttings off off of one plant, and it took me what five or six plants just to get 14 cuttings. Once my, my trees get bigger and have uh, have more of them planted in the ground and that kind of thing, uh, they'll get bigger, and then it, I won't have to be so careful because it I'll have plenty of cuttings. But at this point. These are kind of valuable to me. So each one of these plants is, or these sticks is a potential plant to sell next year or the following year, whatever. So, so anyhow, that's why I want to make sure I give them all the extra little bit of uh, help that they can get. Now they'll probably, they probably would all make it without it, but this just gives you that extra uh, percentage of success, I guess. So anyhow, let's head on over to the, uh, propagation area all right so i spaced that out like perfect and i'm just going to pack them in a little bit because this this sand this sand is really moist and it doesn't need any water normally i water them in to allow that to uh <clears throat> well in fact you know what i am it'll it'll drain so it'll be fine i don't know if you can see down here all the puddles of water i'm almost kneeling in here Gotta put my, my knee pads. No, you can't see. Anyhow, yeah, it's it's pretty wet. We had that tornado come through the other day. Missed us, but it came through the area. So anyhow, yep, that is that is it. Trying to explain everything I can do. Um, I can to tell you about the successful um, fig cuttings. Now, fig cuttings are a little different than some other things. I've had more failures with figs than I have with a lot of other things so I think people you know I hear a lot of people say oh figs are just so easy and I'm like yeah uh, other things are a lot easier <laughs> so it's not all that easy there are some things that you really want to take into consideration and uh, I'm sorry the cat was over there black cat she just loves to play um, so and, let me stand up so yeah there are things to be in consideration with figs and you want to Want to give your fig cuttings is um the best chance they can now i don't know um how you're getting your cuttings or have you even got them yet um i have several of those over there that you, uh, you saw on those pallets that are already grown up as little trees i purchased like off a of fig bid or um th some of them i got off of facebook <sighs> well, i don't know if it was marketplace i don't think it was mark well yeah the yeah, though some of them I got from Marketplace. Anyhow, you can get them different places. So last year I did some uh, some fig cuttings, and I did uh, I did some inside because you know you see these guys Mike Kincaid, and he'll set it. If you haven't watched Mike Kincaid, you need to go check his channel out. He's got the best channel out there, honestly. He's just he's awesome. I love his style. He's just fun to watch. He got he always gives good information. But anyhow, he did these. Uh, fig cuttings inside and he does i think every year but now he's got the all this fig, fancy you know grow tent with those special really expensive lights and all that stuff and um so last year i tried inside and at the same time i tried the same you know split like like i ordered some cuttings and i put some of them inside and some of them outside and I don't think any of them actually made it all the way through the winter inside and i uh, tried to do as much as i could like mike did want to be like mike <laughs> so, but no I, ha I had very little if if any success on my figs inside but at the same time those same cuttings that i put out here in this propagation frame doing it this way um like i just showed you i had well you see the plants over there that i got from out here not and i let them go through the winter this is january 1st right through the winter let them go all through the seasons of 
cold freezing and thawing and all of the thing that they would get naturally if they were growing outside or wanting to grow, starting to grow. So um, I had more success that way and maybe you won't, maybe you um, have better, have had better success inside. Share that experience with us as well. Let us know if you, uh, and I'll probably try them inside again once I get an ab abundance of cuttings that I don't mind taking a chance on. I'll probably try that again. Cause it's always fun to play with stuff. I got stuff inside on, on a rack in there that I'll be showing you. I got quite a few things actually going in there that I'll, I'll share with you here soon. Um, but anyhow, just randomly in here, but uh, share, share your experience with us down in the uh, comments. I'll let us know what you've uh, experienced and any questions that you have. Maybe I, I didn't answer a question here. I'm trying to be, pretty comprehensive about all the things that you would need to know. I mean, rooting hormone, I think is a good idea. Light, but not sun, humidity. I mean, what else do you need to know? Okay, so we got those brown turkey fig cuttings done earlier this morning, and then I've been busy. I got some mums, some, I mean, I just a whole, well, you can see, I got several things done there, and I got quite a bit of what I was wanting to get done so I'm going to go back to getting some more fig cuttings. So let's go over here and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one more kind of fig so that I can keep them separated from the others. I've got a couple different ones that I could take, but I'm just going to do Celeste next. And look at the sky. Doesn't the sky look cool? <laughs> Pretty neat. So, but anyhow... I'm gonna take Celeste figs next, and then I'm gonna put, like I said, other things in between just to keep them separated. Um, so let's go ahead and let me flip you around and let you take a look at what I'm cutting. Now, I don't have a whole lot to choose from, but I'm gonna go ahead and take what I can get. All right, so this one here, right up here in the front, is, is just got a single shoot, and I want it to shoot out into some branches. I just like, figs to grow out you know branching like that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna take one cutting and you know and do it like that cut that at a 47 degree angle and then i got one pretty decent cutting right there it's a little thin but it'll it'll do fine look at that look at that uh we call that that latex trying to uh see if i can get it to focus to that see it Latex about to drip there. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm gonna check. Okay, so here's another one right beside it. Can you see that one? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. Um, man, almost feel like I could get two cuttings and then it could branch out from, I'm gonna do that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So that way I can make, in fact, I'm just gonna do it right here. Gonna cut that right there. and make two cuttings out of that one. All right. So then here, let me double check, check all my labels. Okay, so that's a Celeste as well. Just wanted to make sure. I'm just gonna take one cutting off of that, right? Mm. Right there. <clears throat> there's, there's one there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one as well. Well, that's a Celeste as well. I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Um, right there. And right there. Now, make sure what this one, that's a Celeste there as well. Let me go ahead and, oh, you see what I can do here. Go here. I'm going to go ahead and get two, two cuttings out of that one. Let me bring it back and bring it back and show you. So I got several, several nodes. Look at all those nodes going up there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that to here. And get two cuttings out of that one. Boy, that latex is just dripping out of them things. 
All right, so that one back there, all the way, oh, you know what, you can't see it. In that big pot, that brown pot there, look at that tree there. That's just a really kind of a, it's not your normal style of cutting or, you know, of shape that you normally would do a fig tree, but I kind of like the looks of it. So I'm not going to mess it up. I'm going to leave it grow and then see what it looks like next year. So, oh, I see another Celeste right here that uh, make sure. Nope, that's LSU. Or what was I looking at? Celeste, there. I'm going to go ahead and take a cutting off of each. There. And there. And this one here, make sure it's a Celeste. Yep, that's a Celeste as well. So, uh, so there. This year, I've got a bud shooting off that way. Well, that one does too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take. Actually, I don't want that. Let me take that. So that one had a bud shooting that way, and over here I've got one shooting that way. So that's why I took that there. So my next branch will shoot off the way I want it to go. So I can get a couple out of these. So let me, let's go back to the table real quick for a second. Okay, so back over here at the table, I got my Horman and three out and I've already got from earlier, I already got this uh, thing that I've got my, uh, that I put it, put it in. So I'll use that to dip my cuttings in. And I've got two of them that I didn't cut in half. So make decisions here on how I'm gonna do this. So this one's a pretty long one. That's probably about 16 inches. I know a lot of people will say, oh, I'll cut them to eight, eight or 10 inches. And I probably should do that. Just cut two, get two out of these. Let me count how many I've got here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That'll give me 17. So yeah, I'm, if I'm just cut this in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that, I cut that right below the node, and you know, I've said that before, but then cut that at a 47 degree angle, and then we've got the bottom here, top there, and then right there at that node, that's the bottom, and then the top with the little handle, so. And then this one here, man, I kind of want that one to be, it's, you know, so what I'm gonna do, is going to take that one right below that node for that one to be its own cutting and it'll already okay so now see that see that bud right there that's already forming there i'm going to break that off because i don't want that to try to grow a uh a, a shoot up the uh thing i want it to turn change its mind and go down to roots so i'm going to do that same thing here take that bud off and then then we're good got several good buds up there already so and that's another good one right there so <clears throat> this is a little bit shorter but man that's a good that's i mean it's got one two three four five six nodes i mean i'm two at least of those maybe even up to the third one are going to be into the uh into the ground so it's gonna, I have good confidence that one's gonna do good. When I did my inventory, I don't know, did I show, did I already uh, show you guys that video where I did my inventory of my figs? Anyhow, I, when I did my inventory, I have a list of all the ones I have and how many of each and stuff like that. So yeah, oh, you can't even see. Let me just flip you down here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just dipping that in there, kind of knocking it off and then laying them back. Let me lay them where you can see them. <laughs> uh, so main thing is getting the hormone at that place where the uh, that latex is coming out. You know, that one, look at how long that, that's a good eight, nine inches maybe. I could probably get two cuttings out of that, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let that one be because it's thin, because of the thinness that it is, so. Go ahead and put that. 
Get that hormone in there. All right, let's go over and stick those in the propagation frame real quick. Okay, so we're over here at the propagation frame again. And I'm going to go ahead and I got my, uh, my label already made up. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, let me cut my line. Draw a line in the sand. I'll put my label back there. And grab my cuttings and just stick them. And put the shorter ones in the front, taller ones in the back. And I got a space in the middle. I almost feel like I need to fill that in. I'm going to spread that out a little bit just to <laughs> just so I don't stick something else in there and get it get it confused. All right. So there we go. All right. So I got those stuck. <clears throat> um, that's a good thing. Got uh, man, a couple couple dozen uh, or so figs planted or stuck cutting stuck <laughs> okay so yeah that's a successful day so far and it's only like 1 or 1 30 in the afternoon so i still got um got time to get busy on some other things <clears throat> so yeah but these are things i mean all you saw all those cuttings i did all those cuttings today well let me flip you around okay so yeah i um got those watered in and that's all there is to getting those stu cuttings stuck. And I believe I already talked about all the necessary procedures for getting those, getting cuttings to, um, to work out. You want your, you want your, to be in the shade. You want your humidity and moisture, you know, but no, you don't want to water. You don't want the ground part to be wet and soggy because that will cause them to rot um what do you want you what else you need and i like doing them outside because then it's in more natural habitat for them um and because i failed inside <laughs> i'll just be honest right uh so you know i guess nature good lord knew what he was doing when he created nature right uh so but anyhow <clears throat> that is it for that one and I thanks for hanging out with me. I did get my thumbs brown many times today, but it's, I've washed it also many times. But anyhow, keep your thumbs brown, uh, propagate something, and get out and play in the dirt. And thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on the south side. God bless.